Today I'm going to show you how you can use a Lottie animation inside your highs projects and we're going to use it actually to replace a knob so you can actually use the Lottie animation as like a knob animation or a slider animation. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download a Lottie animation or create your own. So I've just gone to this website here iconscout.com and a lot of these Lottie animations are premium you have to pay for them but I've selected this free checkbox over here so it's only showing me free ones and sometimes you have to sign up to the websites as well you have to sign up to icon scout if you want to download from there so i'm going to use this little skateboarding astronaut created by israfil hassan and i've already downloaded it but you go to the download animate icon and you want the json animation you don't want any of the other formats it's the json that you want Okay, so I've already downloaded that and I've created this uh, folder on my desktop called Lottie Demo. And inside here, I've just put that file, the JSON file, in my images folder. But you don't actually need to do that. You could just put this file anywhere. And once we're finished bringing this Lottie into highs, you can actually delete this JSON file. But just to keep things a bit more convenient, I've put it inside my images folder. So we're going to open this JSON file in a text editor. So it's quite a large file, you can see there's a lot of text here, so it was a bit slow to open. But I'm going to hit Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy everything in here, or I could go to Edit, Copy. And then we can close that. Now back in Highs, you're going to go to this button up here, which is for creating a custom pop-up. You're going to go down to Create New Pop-up, and then you'll get this new floating window. So you just click this little button here to make it movable, click it again and it'll lock it back up into the top corner. So I'll just bring it down here. So we're going to right click in here, we're going to select toggle global layout mode to turn off layout mode. We're going to right click again and select Lottie dev panel. So now we have our Lottie dev panel and then you want to hit save here and you want to type in something like Lottie panel, just give it a name that's easily memorable. So Lottie panel and then you'll hit OK. I've already done it, so I'm going to hit Cancel. And then next time you want this Lottie panel, you can just click the plus icon up here, and there it is in this drop-down list. OK, so we copied that JSON text. We've got to paste it into this little text box area here. Now, the interface of this is a bit clunky, and since we've got a lot of text in that JSON, this is going to be a bit slow to load. But we just right-click and select Paste and then we give it a moment while it loads that in and then we click the load button here and again this might take a while because it's still loading in all that data okay so that's loaded highs actually froze up on me there i had to restart it but uh we're, we're all right now so all that data has been loaded in and sort of formatted we can see that all here and if you want to play around with any of these uh, parameters uh, if, if you know how to edit a lottie file you can change these then hit apply changes to see the update so over here we can click play to see the animation playing back. Very exciting. And now we can click compress and this will convert all of that JSON data into a base64 string, which is what we want to use inside our script. So this is why I said you can delete that JSON file once we've got it into highs because we're just going to use this string. Unless of course you want to keep the JSON file around to make edits and stuff in the future. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this string. So right click, select all, right click, copy. Close this for now. So let me just bring that down, click the close button. And we'll go to our script. Okay, so we'll declare a const, we'll call it Lottie. And it's just going to be equal to that string we just copied. So I've put quotation marks and inside here, I'm just going to paste that string. We'll put the semicolon on the end as well. So we'll paste that string in there. And oh, I'm taking the quotation marks with me there there we go so now we've got our lottie string in there okay the next thing to do is to add a panel to our ui so lotties are always drawn into a panel so we'll add the panel and let's make this 200 by 200 put it sort of in the center and we'll call it pnl lottie now usually it'll give this a more meaningful name i'm assuming you're going to have several lotties on your ui so each one will have a meaningful name depending on what you're using it for, but for our purposes, PNL Lottie will do fine. We need a reference to this component, so we're going to right click on it 
and select create script variable definition and then we'll just paste that into our script. We'll add a comment. We'll hit F5 on that. Okay, now we need to assign this Lottie animation to our panel. So we write PNL Lottie dot set animation. And then we want to put that string in here, which is just going to be our Lottie variable. And when I hit F5, you'll see the panel disappear. And it's replaced with our animation. And the proportions aren't quite right on this. I don't think it's exactly square, so maybe we can make it a bit different. Let's see. Ah, that's all right. Okay. Okay, now we need to know how many frames of animation are in this Lottie animation. And we can get that data and some other data from the um, panel itself. So if we write const Lottie data equals PNL Lottie dot get animation data. And now if we have a look in the script watch table, we can see that variable and we can see what it contains. So active, current frame is zero, number of frames is 121, frame rate is 29.9. Um, so this number of frames isn't always 100% accurate, uh, so we might need to adjust slightly, but this is saying it's 121 frames, so we'll see if that's true. So the way we can set which frame of the animation is displayed is we can write the name of our panel, dot set animation frame, and then we just put the frame number, so we can put like frame 50 in here, or we could put a different number in here, let's put 100 in here. And he's going back down the moon there. So that's how you set the animation frame. So now we're going to assign a knob that's going to do this for us. So we'll delete that from there. Let's add a knob to our UI. We can call this KNB Lottie. And in the properties over here, we're going to set the maximum to 121. So that's the number of frames we've got. We're going to set the step size to one. And the middle position can be set to 60, which is about halfway. Now we'll hit compile. And now we'll right click on our knob over here, select create custom callback definition and paste that in. Let's add a comment. And then in the control callback, all we're going to do is call that same function, pnllottie.set animation frame. And for the frame, we're just going to give the value of the knob. And then we'll hit F5. Okay, so now as I move this knob, our little animated dude is going to go back and forth. So it's going to be like 121 frames was correct, because there's the middle of the animation, and there's the end of it. And of course, if you wanted the animation to stop earlier, you can just change the number of frames uh, by changing the max of the knob. So if we change the max to 60, for example, set the middle position to 30. Did I do that correct? Let's see. Yeah, 30. Hit compile. And now our animation is only going to be half as long for the same, uh, for the full length of the uh, knobs range. Let's set that back to where it was, 121 and 60 for the middle position. Okay, one thing I like to do is I like to take the uh, knob control and put it inside the panel. And we'll set that to be the same width and height as the panel and start at the same position. So it now takes up the full width and height of the panel. So it's the full size of the panel. And then I like to assign an empty PNG as the image so that the knob is invisible. So in my images folder, I have an empty PNG. So it's just a PNG that's got no data in it. It's, it's just empty. You can also do this using custom look and feel as well, but using an empty PNG is a little simpler. So we're just going to select that. And now it's assigned to our knob. If we hit compile, then oh, one thing we need to do is add um, number of strips. We just need to change number of strips to one. And then we hit compile, there we go. So now the knob is still here, but it's invisible. And now we can move our little skateboarding dude just by clicking up and down and it seems like we're clicking on the animation that's the effect it gives 
but really we're clicking on the invisible knob. And we can just prove that the knob's there by showing the pop-up value. So if we enable the pop-up value, there we go, we can see the pop-up value there from the knob control. Okay, I hope you found this one interesting. I think Lotties are quite fun to play with and there's a lot of potential for them for um, making cool animated controls in highs. I'll be putting this project up on Patreon for my higher tier supporters, as always. If you'd like to get access to it, please join me on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, please click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.